So it's been outside overnight. Some of that fresh metal showing. So it looks a bit silver. That side. But when you look at it like that, it doesn't look bad. Looks pretty good. Next thing to do is get it cemented in that hole there. Right, so I've mixed up some sand and cement with a bit of PVA because I haven't got a frame for it. So what I'm going to do is just bed it into some mortar all the way around here. And I can't find my little pointing trowel, so I'm using a decorative thing. And Anyhow, all I'm going to do now is drop the manhole cover back onto here. Right, I'm just going to pull this masking tape back off. So all I'm going to do is sweep around the edge and get the muck off. Let's put these gloves on. And I've just been told that I should put it with the writing that way around. So here's my little hook. So that'll help. And just drop it there. I think it's got to come this way, hasn't it? What I'm going to do now is go around here and Bed this in, push it down there a bit. And for now, that's it. I'll carry on all the way around and then I'll show you what it looks like in a bit. So I've gone around it and I've mortared into the joints and I've done a reasonable job of going into the joints. Um, around here and pushing it in and then when I've done all of that you can see this nice sharp line I've gone around with this decorator's knife at an angle uh, at an angle like that and just broke the seal which means it'll be easier to pick up later but it means that the border looks even so it's a nice even border because it's um it's got this nice detail line. That's about it. I will probably come back over it in a bit and get a brush on it because as you can see it's really quite wet. That's tidy isn't it? Right, catch up again in a bit. And just as we speak it's starting to rain. Which is a shame. But anyhow, the line's looking good. The brush has taken all the shine off it. So it looks a little bit more, um, well it looks a little, bit, a little bit better I think. So there you go, that's it. I think I'm going to put a cover over it, stop it getting wet. And that looks alright. So it's the next morning and I'd left a cover over it overnight to keep the rain off it because we've had some rain so let's see what's going on that board's kept it dry which is great well it's hardening off so this is the bit I've been worried about really will it lift okay so let's try this let's get a foot there put the handle under just give it a oh Yep, that's come for right. Now what I don't want to do is just lift it from there. I want to release that end as well. So let's go over here. And see if this end releases all right. A lot more pressure this end. But that's it. It's released. So that's great. So now I can take it out. And then 
see what the cement looks like underneath. I'm expecting a mess. Just shows I need another one of these. One isn't enough. I'll find another hook from somewhere. So None falling inside, so it doesn't look too bad. Needs cleaning out a bit down there. That's not bad. Nice corner here. Needs a bit more there, but I can tidy this up. And you're thinking, you're probably thinking, why is he bothering tidying that up? Well, if I have to get the drain rods down here and rub up against this edge, what will happen is this will break off. So I need to tidy it up and what I'll do is I'll round it off so that it's ready to accept any stuff that's going on. But you know something, that's a pretty good seal, look at that corner, that's a great seal. Oh I'm so pleased, I put Lulu's name in there because Lulu helped me film it. My thing's still okay. That's great. Right, now I know this might seem a bit extreme for some people, but I had noticed some lumps in my sand. So I think it's got mixed with something else. So I'm just going to sieve it all out so that when I do the mortar around the edge, look how, look how fine this sand is. Oh, it's almost better than a beach. So this mixed with the cement will be brilliant. So I'm just going to sieve a load more of this and then I'm ready to do the mortaring to tidy up around the edge of the inspection cover. Oh, and the sun's coming out so that's going to dry it off a tree. Right, so what we've got here is about three to one mix. And this is that sieve sand. And it should, when I look at it, it should mix really well. And it, it mixes much quicker dry. Okay, that's it. Now I've got to just add bit of water and some PVA and I'm going to get a blob of PVA. I've already gone around the outside of the mortar around the inspection panel um, brickwork with some PVA and that's, that was about five minutes ago. So I need to get this mixed in and sorted. Just going to add a bit more PVA. I would say you can't have too much PVA. So and it's a bit runny this mix. And the PVA helps with the bond. So it'll help it stick to the existing and it'll help keep it bond it together. Now this is way too runny so what I'll do now is I'll leave that to start going off like they do with pointing and I'll get back to it in a bit. So I've done all the way around there and I'm just on this last bit and I've probably got just enough more to left look but this is what I'm doing and it's, it's pretty cool, so it's not just tidying up the edge, it's actually reinforcing the seal across here. Because look, it's proud there, but there's none over here, so I'm putting extra over here. 
pushing it down, pushing it into against the, the existing mortar. And then, here we go, and then just wobbling it up. And it's slowly working its way off the. There you go. Off the. Uh, now it's just up and over into the channel and off. It's weird down here. Right, last bit, and then we'll come back in a minute. That's it, leave it, he says. Just with a bit of make sure it's down. Seated. That's it, we can walk on that now. And it's fine. Let's get on with cleaning and some of it will go down. Some of it will go down there. Clean out, all sorted, mortar looks great. Finished. Alright, I hope that helped you sort your drains out and uh, if some of the ideas here have helped then that's really good. If you no adverts. If you want to buy me a coffee, you can buy me a coffee. If you just go to the link below and uh, much appreciated. So, hope it all helps and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.